Morning, church. My name is Sarah. If you haven't met me, um, last 21 days of prayer um, in 2020, I talked about trust and about how important it is to trust the Lord. And he's still working with me on that. But I wanted to offer something that I hope is an encouragement um, from my personal experience at this point. I am an overthinker. I overthink things. Um, it can lead into anxiety. It can lead into worry. I mean, it can lead into a lot of things. There are positives, I think, about being someone who, who likes to think things through, um, who looks at a problem from a lot of different angles that I think has positives to it, um, especially in certain job situations. But it can also become really damaging to you if you let it go unchecked. And I had mentioned to a friend some years ago that um, I, I'm not prone to worry. I don't really worry about things, you know, and all this stuff. And I feel like God has kind of called me out on that comment. Um, my worry may not come the way some other people's worries come. My worries inevitably seem to come from my own need almost to overthink everything. So I know overthinking is a weakness on my part. And I know that I have an enemy who likes to prey on weaknesses. Um, you know, when you talk about somebody pushing your buttons, well, I've got a big button called overthinking that can lead me into, you know, spirals of fixating on a problem and not being able to get off of it. And, and people talk about worries tending to be worse than the actual situations themselves. And overthinking does that. It, it builds up these things in your mind as well. Um, and, and really sort of drives you into trying to fix the problem yourself instead of trusting the Lord to provide answers um, and to provide the right kind of information when you need it um, in those situations and to live in the peace of, of trusting him. And so um, I have kind of felt like I've been rebuked a little bit, of, well, definitely a lot about my worrying comment, not worrying comment, I worry. I'm confessing it here right now. I worry, I worry, I worry. My worry comes mainly through overthinking. Um, I believe. And now the Lord might point something else out to me, but that's what I'm kind of dealing with now. And so I've kind of been in this cycle of I'll deal with a problem. I'll get through it with the Lord. You know, we'll, we'll confront the fact that part of my issue with that particular issue is I'm overthinking that issue. And then another one comes along and it may look a little bit like one I've already faced but it's a little different. And um, I had made a comment with another friend in the church a while back as well, and her comment was about the idea that, you know, the, the tricks that the evil one uses to, to attack us with, the things that come at us, they oftentimes, they do seem very similar. Like, when you stop and actually think about it, you know, there are, there in our, and if we have a particular kind of weakness in our life, I mean, that's what's going to be attacked again and again and again. It may look a little different, but it still seems to have somewhere in there like that, that a bit of sameness when you actually stop and look at it. Um, and so I've kind of gotten to the point now where I'm trying, and this is, I hope, an encouragement. I'm trying to get to the point where when something like that happens, I immediately stop and try and figure out, okay, is this an actual situation that I need to be actually dealing with or thinking about or, you know, I say concerned with, but concern being I actually need to be the one handling it as opposed to handing my fears or my worries that come with the possible overthinking over to God. Um, or is this something that I just need to immediately say, this is in the Lord's hands and leave it with him? I was in the car the other day, and it's a slightly older song, but it came on, and it was really perfect for the moment for what I kind of needed to hear. And it's the song that has the verse where it, the line where it says, strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. And we want strength. We want to be able to deal with something effectively. And how do we get that? Well, oftentimes, it's by waiting on God. God gives us strength in the moment that we need it. Um, I may not get it a week in advance. I get it in the moment when I need it. 
and that isn't always comfortable or fun because I want to be able to be the person who handles it immediately and we're done and I never have to worry about that again. There is my perfectionism coming out, that legalistic sense of I need to have it right completely on my part. I'm, I try not, I don't, I tend not to be, or I hope I'm not the kind of legalistic where I, I look outward on others and try and judge, you know, and judge them. If I catch myself doing that, I try really quickly to stop because it's not right. But I'm really, really hard on myself for perfectionism, the legalistic side of things. And that doesn't save us. We're covered by the righteous blood of Christ if we're his children. And that's what protects and saves us. That's what gives us that connection with the Lord. The spirit inside of us is part of that relationship. And so I know I'm never going to be perfect on this side of things. Our course, our goal is to try and become more and more like Christ while we're here. But my overthinking things is really an, an instance of if I let it go out of control, if I let it have its head, um, and I think of, you know, when you're riding a horse and if you let the horse just kind of have its head, do its, do what it wants to do, you're going to go off into no man's land. I mean, it's going to go wherever it wants to go. You're the rider. You have to control it. <laughs> and sometimes the best control is letting someone else have control. And that's God in that instance. So I'm trying to offer encouragement for those who may be overthinking or anxious about things right now, especially um, whether it's COVID related or other stuff related. But the fact that I know on my own, for myself, on my own, in my own heart, I can't pick it up once I've put it down. And I do that a lot. I try really hard not to, but I, I do. I tend to go back and think about it. Well, I think like, of this angle or this angle or this angle. And then a thought will kind of wiggle its way back in. And, you know, no, this is in the Lord's hands. If the Lord wants me to do with it. I, I pray that, you know, I pray, Lord, that I recognize that this is you telling me to do with this particular thing. And if it's not you, then let it stay at the foot of the cross, at, the, at your feet, and you handle it. You, you deal with this in me. Um, and we'll go from there. So again, I hope this is an encouragement. I pray that you're all staying um, safe and healthy, and I look forward to seeing everybody back again where we can all worship um, together in his presence. But even while we're physically distanced, um, I pray that we're still reaching out to one another as well, interacting with each other in ways that, even if it's just a brief phone call or a text to say hi. Um, and if someone comes to mind today, from the church or your family or your, your co-worker group. Um, I, I, I hope that you'll stop and, and send a brief prayer for them because you don't need to know necessarily why you're praying for them. Just, Lord, I feel like I need to pray for this person. Whatever's going on, please bless them right now. Please be with them. Um, and who knows what that prayer might achieve. So again, I wish you the best this week. Um, thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.